Hello, and welcome back to another vlog. Yay! In today's episode, I will be trying to do a voiceover. Wow. That's right, mom and dad. I'm finally putting my audio school knowledge to work here. Mm -mm -mm. Ever since the Seventeen concert, I have literally been so obsessed with them to the point where every single morning, I would find whatever content I can get a hold of as I eat my yummy breakfast. Following my daily schedule as per usual, it is now time to get lost in TikTok's algorithm because it's so addicting. I need help. Oh my gosh. And yes, this is me discovering that TikTok. If you know, you know. After mindlessly scrolling for God knows how long, I finally get down to business. And look at me, I'm being so productive. Me turning on a laptop? Yes. This is Twice's best B-side song. Fight me on it, I will die on this hill for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And of course, every single time I want to try and be productive, there's always something cock walking me. And this is it. 62 gigabyte? Are you kidding me? Like this fat file is gonna take forever to load. Look at that, that little spinning circle of death, god. So, in order to pass time, yes, I'm going to learn new Jean's attention. One, two, three, four, like this, your hands, I fully regret hands, recording this. Your Word of advice, hands, never like film this, yourself you learning a dance. And up, boom, boom. Okay, so, and you're here. I legit think I can Run dance. Back. Back. But when I see Run stuff back. like this, <laughs> I want to cry. <sighs> okay. Why can't I body roll? Oh my okay. gosh. Eight. One, two, Ooh. Three, Kill it. Six, yes. Seven, oh, eight, not the head one, tilt. Two, three, <laughs> oh four, my gosh. Five, six, seven, eight. Me eight. thinking I absolutely <laughs> killed it. But new jeans. We really need to talk. Why is your first chorus so fun and easy to dance? But second chorus. You're trying to make me look like a fool. You want me to be ugly, and I take full offense. As you can see here, I'm editing my whisper challenge. If you haven't watched it, please do, because as you can see, it was a lot of editing, all those cuts. Oh my gosh, look how tired I am. And I'm hoping that people like it, because it's probably my favorite video I have ed ever edited and filmed so far. Editing was not only hard because of all the angles, but I would literally get lost just by watching it because my family's so funny. Our laughing in the background, I can't, I'm dead. After editing for I don't know how many hours, my tummy went, mm, I'm hungry, it's time for you to eat again. Also, if you're not giving yourself dance rituals before your meal, then you're doing it wrong. And if you think about it, it's a great form of cardio. <laughs> me being confused because why is there three containers of spaghetti mom which one do i choose from black pink if you ever want to hit me up and use this choreo let me know slide into my dms please <laughs> no like for real why does this hit harder than the actual choreo am i crazy i'm i'm probably just crazy and now my karaoke rendition get him get him get him whoa 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 ah ah Thank you for listening and now I'm adding protein to my carbs because I want to live on a healthy lifestyle. If you couldn't hear underneath my loud AC, I'm yet again watching 17 as I eat another meal. Trying to be very efficient today, squeezing in as much editing time as I can. I'm meeting up with my sister later today, and I need this video to be done as soon as possible. Finally got my makeup done, and I have to say, I think I'm perfecting my eye makeup. Look how cute it is. Mm. Running down the stairs because I think I'm late to meet up with my sister. But anyways, quick OTD. It's giving schoolgirl cute. Tell me why I thought I was going to be late. My sister is Filipino. You know what that means. She lives on Filipino time. I am sitting alone here waiting for her. Look, Dana, where are you at? Oh, there you are. Aw, she's so pretty. Pregnancy looks good on her. <laughs> we never go downtown together. 
No, we don't. We actually don't hang out. I know. <laughs> Let's hold hands. Okay. <laughs> So the Aritzia warehouse sale happens every year at the convention center here in downtown Vancouver because Aritzia is based in Vancouver. This is the first time they're holding it ever since the pandemic and it was crazy. I get kind of anxious when there's a lot of people around me. For real, I came here for my sister because I'm trying to help her update her wardrobe. She really wants cute cardigans, but it was hard to find some. All of them were either ripped, torn, or still too expensive. We were really just there to find the cheapest clothing that we can grab. But back to me being anxious of being around people, it was just worse because it was Aritzia girlies and they have a stereotype. I'm just saying, you can see here, I was looking at a sweater and this girl literally grabs it from me, watch. Boom, right there. And I just looked at my sister and I'm like, did that just happen? It's okay, but I found this really cute skirt. I'm in love with it. It's pink, it's corduroy, it's everything I want. This was supposed to be my haul. I was supposed to top here. And then I lost my sister. Dana, where did you go? You left me here. <laughs> there she is. She is trying to buy jeans. As a pregnant one, she's trying to buy jeans. Let's just hope it's gonna fit once the little baby comes out of her. They cute though, we have to admit, they are cute. So there I am waiting for my sister to try on all her clothes that she found. I'm sitting on the ground, the ground is cement and my butt is getting cold. So I checked the clock and I realized it's almost been like two or three hours being here. Dana, what are you doing inside? And there she is crawling on the ground because there's so much good clothes on the ground poor little baby in her he's like mommy what are you doing what are we doing and because of her scavenger on the ground i ended up picking up so much more clothes than i ever intended and this is dana finding a cute sweater it was cute it was really soft right before we left look what dana does she grabs another shirt off the ground and of course it's going to be in my size perfect condition and it's only $15 so I grabbed it thanks Dana me trying to look cute and hide the sadness of the fact of how much money I just spent here I really did not intend of spending that much money after that chaotic time inside there we were like hmm let's live on this basic stream and try for cactus club but all the other basic girls were going there too and the wait time was 30 minutes plus and we were starving. So we went to the other side to Quesada. This is my first time having Quesada and tell me why I've never had it before. It was so bomb, but not too bomb because their washroom was broken and I had to walk all the way to the other side to Canada Place just to take a little piss. It's okay, all is forgiven because Quesada was so bomb. I have to say it's better than Chipotle, sorry not sorry, but if you don't like Chipotle cilantro taste, then go to Quesada. For some reason, it tasted so nice, fresh, and healthy. Probably not that healthy, but it was yummy. Mmm. That was a good-ass burrito. And we got churros. This is Dana trying it with Nutella. It was okay. She thought it was a bit too crunchy for a churro. And I had it with caramel. Mmm, 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 mmm. Dana's having a relapse of what just happened in there. She is traumatized. She is tired. She is afraid and just shocked. It was hard to bend. I think at one point it was crawling. Wow. I guess it was okay. We got a bunch of cute new clothes and we never really go shopping. So it was nice. Just as nice as the sunset. I haven't really got to watch sunsets much this summer. So watching this one was nice. My mom saw the receipt when I got home. And so I had to show her every single piece of clothing to justify how much money I spent. My friends and I like to send each other vlogs and hauls every now and then. So this is me sending my haul of tonight and showing how I could use this cardigan and what outfits I would wear it. I don't know, I think it's just so cute that we do this for each other. It turned out Lisa was also at the warehouse sale. At the same time, we did not bump into each other for some reason. But this is her showing her haul as I'm fixing my headphones. They're super old and when I took them out for the whisper challenge, they just got beaten up and they needed a good ass replacement. I think it took me around an hour or two. 
It was long. I had to get alcohol and really wipe off all of the sticky residue. But it was worth it because headphones are coming back into trend. So now I can wear this out in public and look all cute and trendy. Oh my gosh, look at all that mess. Anyways, thanks for watching another vlog of mine. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye!